party or a party that is organized, that has got a clear ideology how we want this country to move forward, going forward. I know that uh, it has not been easy all over the place. We have also had problems with the county governments. Our governors know they have not been able to have adequate resources to be able to perform the tasks that the people expect of them. But as you know, we brought the BBI. BBI was meant to help us to improve government uh, governance at the county level. It was opposed by opportunists for opportunistic reasons. And that's why we said reggae is on half time, reggae will come back again. We are now preparing to go to the elections. I must first thank you people today for nominating me as your candidate. I initially was very reluctant, as you know. So I said before I do anything else, I will first travel the, round, the length and the breadth of the country and ask the people of Kenya, Baba and the says yes. in the lay. Baba and the lay in the lay. That was the answer. And that is why on the 10th of December, I actually responded to the request of the people of Kenya. We are going to work together with the other partners. At this stage, I want to pay tribute to my brother and uh, colleague, President Uhuru Migai Kenyatta. As you know, we were on opposite sides in the elections. And we all know what there, what happened. The crisis that followed the repeat presidential elections. When we all we took hard stands, and there were people on the streets, and we had people dying, we had people wounded in hostels. The expenses were high. But we said we would continue. And we had also boycotts of certain products. And our supporters responded effectively. So there was a crisis. People were doing maps of Kenya. The People's Republic of Kenya. And the Republic of Kenya. Let us now move on print our currency, and start to run our country. Under those circumstances, we came together and we had very, very extensive discussions. Journey down the, 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 the memory lane. As a result of that, we agreed with my brother Huru Kenyatta that Kenya is bigger than all of us. And therefore, we must we come together to bring the people of Kenya together. On that basis, we prepared a memorandum of understanding and shook hands, the handshake. And we said we will work together in this to bring the country together. And Uhuru has never repeated from what we agreed. Some people went there and said, oh, Uhuru is cheating you, he will abandon you. I told them, I know he will not. I was certain, because we had had a very deep conversation, and we agreed that this country needed to be moved to where the ancestors wanted it to be. That is captured in our national anthem. A land where plenty is found within its borders. That is what has eluded us. And in the process, of the, in the course of this, in spite of obstacles that he has experienced within his government, 
he has tried to steer the country to that direction. Now he said, when we take over, we will continue the work that he has started and move on. And that this bond will not die with the elections. Elections is just going to strengthen it and we'll work together going forward. So it is change and continuity. We will continue with this project which the whole has started with this government and we will work together just as a team. That's why this time of, uh, around we are coming together. We are bringing the ODM together with the Jubilee to form the Azmiu La Omoja. And we are inviting other parties to join Azmiu La Omoja. So today you have just nominated me as an ODM candidate for the Leon Omoja. Other parties don't want to join are also free to nominate their candidates for Azmiu La Omoja. Then we are going to have the mother of them all. We will bring our people, they will bring their people, and then we will then eventually now come out with a candidate for Azimio La Omoja. <laughs> that is how it has been agreed. So tomorrow we are going to have our national delegates convention. Jubilee will have its national delegates convention also tomorrow. We will attend both of them. And eventually we will make resolutions which will finally be taken to the other meeting which we will have, which will now be the culmination of the Azimila Omoja movement. And from there onwards, we will move now together. We will set up structures up to the grassroots so that we are able to capture the, 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 the seats down there. We want to see that Azimio La Omoja will get the majority of members of county assembly, majority of members of national assembly, majority of senators, majority of governors in this country. So that Azimio La Omoja can show the people the way. This is the way, this is how the founding fathers wanted it. This is how he wanted to be as ODM. So I want to thank you people for standing firm the way you have stood firm. You have made not only me, but the entire country proud. So as we move on, I want to thank all of you once again. As, as we go back, carry the message that the journey has started. Journey has started. I've been telling people that this country needs another revolution. The first liberation brought the national uh, independence. The second liberation gave us a new democratic constitution. The third and final liberation is economic liberation of our country. And this is what we want to spearhead. So that we empower our people so that we were able to deal with the three major enemies of our people, ignorance, poverty, and disease. And we've said, in terms of ignorance, all the children in our country, irrespective of the socioeconomic status of their parents, will get equal opportunity from nursery, to primary, to secondary, up to tertiary, up to university. And we also said that God, all our people who have in the past been unable to access Medicare, there's going to be Baba Care. Baba Care. Baba Care. Baba Care. Baba Care will bring all our people into a, a health insurance scheme so that they can be able to access treatment whenever they are sick, even if they don't have money. We have also said we will support our youth to get proper uh, employment. They will, our youth will be 
employed meaningfully so that they can be able to improve their socioeconomic status and they're not just going to be given wheelbarrows. You've said also that those who want to do businesses will be given access to credit from a pool of a fund and they don't have to repay interest until after seven years. Then you said all those mamas, the single parents, where the father and they're also the mothers will get special support from the government. We also said that the poor of the poor who do not have anything, we are going to introduce a social protection program in the country so that those families will get from the government every month 6,000 shillings. I know people are criticizing it, or handouts and so on. I'm saying it is not handout. It is actually responding to the social needs of our people. Inawezekana. Inawezekana. So we are going to change things. We will invest massively in infrastructure development. We will invest in manufacturing, industries, each county, each product. We will go to each sub-county, each product, so that our people can get jobs down there as we do value addition to raw materials that we have at that level. We mean to bring proper transformation in our country. This is what we will do. And that is what ODM is going to bring to the Azimio La Umoja. Tuko hapa na kangumu. Fred Gumu, hiko hapa. Wapapie. I'm reminded. Then hiko hapa na mpuru ya buri. That is um, uh, uh, the leader of a party called Mpehu. At the early Kwama Nachungwa, Akatoroka. Welcome, Karibuni San. So I don't want to, to continue beyond this point. Tomorrow we are going to be at the Kasarani, and we are going eventually to have a joint meeting there at Kasarani. I want to thank you all for attending and for nominating me 